do that and let you guys know that no, the Blenderful did not sell out day one. What's going on everybody? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay, let's talk. Oh my God, we gotta talk about a little bit of Jeffree Star and a little bit of Tati Westbrook. So first of all, I feel like Jeffree Star has shut down some rumors yesterday because he tweeted this out. Uh-huh. And then I saw some, like, some other tweets come out. So like, it's kind of hard to like depict and like crack the code, right? Of what was said. So this tweet was posted and has now been deleted. It's basically a response to more speculation. Uh, followed by the following day, Jeffree Star posted a video saying that him and his boyfriend had broken up. And I just want to offer my condolences. I'm sure it's a really difficult, tough time for him right now. Uh, I knew they were really, really in love. Um, just if you want my opinion, I just, for some reason, I just kind of feel like they will get back together. But that's just me. You know, who am I? But I just kind of feel like, I just feel really sad right now. I can't believe when I saw the video, I can't believe that's what happened. And I'm in utter, I'm just in shock. I tried to pick or try to crack the code of what was said, but it seems, it seems like to me that he put on there that him, okay, and his boyfriend, Nathan, are together in LA, okay? And it, there were some rumors about the brothers, so he cleared all those rumors up. And so that's the T on that. That I, that's the only thing I saw, like, you know, publicly, whatever. Okay, so then I wanna talk about Tati Westbrook. She went to Snapchat. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Okay, which I don't know why you wouldn't. She made a video uh, where she was talking about this new product that she like invented or something. And it's like, a, I call it a puff. I don't know if what she might call it. She, I think she called it the Blenderful or Blenderful or something like that. So it's just like a powder puff. Um, so she she launched that and I bought mine already. So I already put my order for it. And now it's kind of like, here's what happened. So I kind of like spaced a little bit. And then I was like, oh yeah, because I checked her Instagram story and she was talking about how it sold out or whatever. Oh wait, no, she was talking about how it didn't sell out. And I was like, what, what? And I went to quickly to go buy it. And I thought it would be sold out by then, but it wasn't, it was still there. So I was super lucky. I was able to buy two of them. And so I was like, okay, cool. So I'll get to have one for a review and maybe we'll do one for a giveaway. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, so here's where we get very interesting team. So Tati Westbrook went on to say how she didn't sell out of the uh, of the her new product, right? And I think that mo most people are inclined to buy like a palette or something like they want to buy. Like a palette is like a big hooray thing, whatever. And I think that because it was another palette, maybe that's why it didn't sell out. But she did say that a lot of people did buy them. It wasn't like a flop or anything like that. And she says, she thinks she's going to sell out pretty soon. But she won't have any, I think, for Valentine's Day or something like that. But she's going to come back with the restock. This is actually with her palette because her palette is restocked again. And I think that everyone watched the video. I don't know. I'm trying to think because she came out with the powder puff, right? And then she was like, oh, yeah. And the palette's also restocked. So good for the people who are going to go and buy it now. But I think like... The palette restock was a much, this is my opinion, was much more of like, yes, than the sponge. This is my opinion, whatever, who am I? I don't know anything. All I know is I bought the sponge because I, if you know how to use it, it's really good. I just like to get it. If you're gonna get your set, I know people, most people won't do this, but they'll get the sponge or the, or the what do you got, the puff, and they'll get like their setting powder and put it all over their face, right, for those theatrical looks. But if you don't want that theatrical look, you can just get it and put it like all up in here. But it is very something, something old is new again, right? Because a puff has been around for a long time. But like I said, it's the materials that are going to be in the puff that I, or out of the puff or whatever is really going to make this a standout product. Because I don't think Tati would put out like just anything, right? So here's what she said. Roll it, girl. Here we go. Well, has a piano lessons. What's up, you guys? I am going to hop back on very, very soon with a few updates. Excitement. It has been like... It's been a crazy day in the best, best way. And I am like the crazy person that on a launch day still has a piano lesson. So I'm going to go play piano for like an hour and a half. And then I'm going to hop back on and story for a minute because I just have, you know, a couple things to say. So, but I wanted to say thank you so much. Um, things are moving smoothly with the launch. And I love you guys a lot. Thank you. The talent is just unreal over here. The focus, the drive.
All right, you guys, I am done playing piano. I'm learning somewhere over the rainbow. I'm so excited about it because I am obsessed with The Wizard of Oz, side note. So that's out of the way. I feel like this has been a day that's just been like, go, 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 go. And I have not been able to hop on and just chat with you guys for a minute. And I wanted to do that and let you guys know that no, The Blendiful did not sell out day one. Thank God. Like I'm actually super thrilled about that. We ordered really, really deep. We did sell a lot, which kind of has me going, oh, okay, well, um, you know, you know, the way things are moving, it is going to sell out. And sadly, we won't have any more inventory after this initial launch for February or March. We probably will in April because, you know, I might have something else coming out and we will be restocking. But what we launched with for a velour puff that I thought most people wouldn't really understand, I thought we had enough to really kind of carry it through. And you guys know, like even with Halo, I'm not the kind of brand that likes to just boom, sell out. So that's just not how it is. Um, I don't like anxiety. I hate being anxious about anything. So it's selling like hotcakes, you guys are loving it. It's making this day so special. And I have to also add that this is just like, a super special day in general for personal reasons because it is the eve of my 10 year anniversary with James. 10 years! Like I'm starting the new decade celebrating a decade and then three years ago, uh, the night before we got married, there was a halo moon. I'm gonna put a photo in. Hello going on, that's pretty cool. Whoa! Wow! That is so like, trippy! So clean pictures. Snapchat. It's a full moon, yeah. Tonight's moon is like crazy bananas beautiful and um, I'm getting like some weird like vibey pics in my backyard and just like the moon. Um, I'm all about like good vibes and good energy for 2020 and I was just kind of looking through those photos and I was like this is so cool. Like I just really feel like this new year is a new chapter and it's really positive and to have today go the way that it did is really reinforcing that and I just want to thank you guys so so much so just know when I'm not online you know promo promo promoing that I'm actually like hands in the work it was a busy day but so far so good and things ran very smoothly so that's that I love you guys I'm gonna go enjoy my uh, anniversary Eve and thank you again and again all right have a good night guys just got the most exciting package from Tati Beauty. Thank you, Tati. So excited about these. Can't wait to play. Okay, let's talk. So I feel like it was great that she went on camera and said that it wasn't sold out. And she said, oh, and that's a good thing, right? And I was like, wow, you know, because most of the time people like as soon as they launch, Five minutes later, they're like, it's sold out. Oh my gosh. And they're like in tears and crying, whatever. That's for like a bigger product, right? I didn't I didn't expect that from this, right? I didn't expect that from this because it's just a puff, right? And I know she has a lot of people who love her and a lot of people in, in the comments down below, they will defend Tati for their life, you know, because she pays my bills, you know, and stuff like that. So I just think that if it was a palette, I don't know. I think it would have been too soon for a palette. So no, but... If it was to be a palette, I'm pretty sure it would have sold out too. At this point, I think Tati can sell out a palette. Boom. The puff, I think she sold out a lot of, I think she sold a lot of puffs, but the reviews aren't out yet. I know that a couple influencers already have them, but I haven't seen like a dead on like full review of the of the puff. And um, I'm interested to see those reviews. Like I wanna, I'm gonna be watching puff reviews, Tati Westbrook, whatever, cause I wanna see them. I mean, I'm already getting one in the mail, so I'll just like do a video. And I can't wait to do that for you guys. Um, but let me know, like, I, mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the puff is so boring. I don't want a puff, honey. I understand some of you guys may not want the puff. I get it. But I thought it was something cool and new. And I feel like puffs, puffs are one of those things that I, just my opinion, I feel like you can't really have them too long because then they, then they start to like acquire bacteria or something. But then that's me because I'm kind of, kind of a germaphobe. So then you gotta like wash the puff and then like will the hairs be the same or like 
the fibers will they be the same so i think that people who do buy puffs they tend to like use it a couple times and then throw it out so this is kind of smart for tati because if people buy puffs at what 18 18 or something and i use it for a little bit and they throw it out well girl they'll just buy another puff right so it's almost like residual income for tati i'm telling you she's a freaking genius she's a freaking genius because the puff i wouldn't reckon that it costs that much money right for the little for this puff right and then for the markup's kind of high, but if you love Tati, people are going to buy at the house. And then she has literally, by the grace of God, I don't know how she did it, all the hard work, girl, whatever it is, she has literally made herself like the epitome of luxury, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the stuff that she uses and that she says is good is like very, like, trust me, people who I, I know people in my life who don't even really watch YouTube but they know about Tati and they will buy everything that she says and they just live by Tati and they see her as just like one of those people that you go to for reviews is Tati, right? Because she's so polished, because she's so clean. Like, I don't wanna say perfect, but she's very that. It's like, you just believe, right? I don't know, that's just, that's the kind of vibe I get, right? So I think she's kind of like, has set the bar for that, for that standard and people just like go to her for reviews. I don't think, I hope she knows that, but I don't know, you know? But she, I think she's important in the beauty community ecosystem, if that makes sense, right? One thing I don't know, don't ever make her mad because just her claws come out the house. Remember, remember when she did that video and she was talking about this girl, some girl had made videos about her and she got all mad, made a video about her back. Remember all that, remember that trauma? That's why I kind of like Tati because she keeps it classy, right? I love her so much. Okay, so let me know what you think about it and I'll see you guys in the next video.